What is up guys and welcome back to the Hammer Dance YouTube channel. Today we have the next video in the OBS Masterclass 2021 edition series that we're working on right now. And this is going to be the best possible settings you guys can use for recording within OBS. But before we get into it guys, let's give a shout out and thank you to our sponsor for today's video, Own.TV. Own.TV is the place to go guys if you're looking for some fresh new graphics for your stream. Whether you're on Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook gaming, you'll find something that's a perfect fit for your channel. They offer full-themed overlay packages, which are great if you're trying to give your stream a complete makeover, but let's say you're just looking to pick up some new alert graphics, don't worry, because they've got you covered there too. You could find single graphics such as alerts, banners, panels, and logos as well. And one of the best parts about most of these overlays is that they are completely modular. So if you and your friends all pick up the same overlay such as this Rodan one right here, you can change the colors and tweak it to match your brand and none of you will have the exact same overlay. If you guys are looking to take your stream to the next level, be sure to check out own.tv using my link below to support the channel. All right, guys, so like we said before, we're gonna be going over the best settings you guys can use for recording within OBS. Right now, it's the end of 2020, about to be the beginning of 2021 in about a month and a half, two months, um, but right now it's the end of the year. I don't think these settings are gonna change much between now and then, so that's why I'm making this video and calling it the 2021 edition. Um, so here we go, guys. We're gonna dive in and go over the best settings for recording within OBS. If you guys are looking for the best settings for streaming, go check out the last video in the series. That was the streaming settings. So first thing we're gonna do here is open up our settings within OBS, and we're gonna do a quick overview of everything, uh, but we'll really dive into the recording settings. In the general tab here, Nothing crazy to worry about. None of this is going to affect the quality of your recordings, except for theme. Put it on dark mode. We know that everyone loves dark mode. I go over this in all of my videos. I absolutely cannot stand when stuff looks like this. It's just, who, like why would anyone want this? Just put it on dark mode. It makes it way easier, easier on your eyes. Better for your eyes, actually. It doesn't hurt your eyes as much. That's actually a fact. Put it on dark mode, guys. All right. Next, stream tab. We're not gonna do anything here. This was in the last video. This was when we went over our best streaming settings. So we're gonna skip this tab completely. None of this is relevant for recording within OBS. The output tab. Make sure at the top here you select recording. This is gonna be where we choose our recording settings. Okay, so from the top, keep this on standard. Choose your recording path here if you wanna send it to an external drive or another drive you have in your computer or your desktop or your videos folder, whatever. Um, that's where you're gonna select that right here. The recording path is where your recording is going to be saved when you hit stop recording. Recording format, I record in MP4. You can record in FLV, whatever you'd like. MP4 is pretty standard. You can edit it in almost any program. Comes out really nice quality. I suggest using MP4. So that is where you would select the format right here, recording format. And this is where you would select, if you wanted to like disable certain audio tracks, you didn't want them to be recorded in your recording in the final mix, you can disable them here. I only have one audio track. And as you can see, it's enabled right here because we do want you to be able to hear my voice. Your encoder, again, we're gonna go over encoders. So, if you are using an NVIDIA GPU, I would say 10 series or higher, you want to be using the NVIDIA NVENC H.264 new encoder. That's going to give you the best quality and, and save you a lot of performance on your machine. If you're using an AMD card, or you just have a really good processor, I would suggest using X264 as your encoder um, because you won't have the ability to use the NVENC encoder the right way. You are not going to ever rescale your output here in this tab. If you wanted to rescale your output, I'll show you how to do that later in a different tab. So never check this box, keep that unchecked. You don't want that active. Your rate control, I record um, CBR at 16,000 uh, bits. It, it's basically what I'm, I'm doing that because I'm recording in 1080p at 60 frames. Um, you don't have to do 16,000 bit rate, but if you're doing 1080p recordings at 60 FPS, I highly suggest using 16,000. If you're going lower, you can find a ton of charts online. Maybe we'll throw one on the screen here um, that basically show you the bit rate to resolution um, standard of what you should be using. Keyframe interval, you wanna set this to two. Preset, if you're using the NVENC encoder, this is gonna look a little different if you're using X264, but if you're using NVENC, I have mine set to max quality. If you need to, let's say you get some encoding uh, overload errors maybe, or, or things are just, 
it's a little skippy, maybe your audio is not syncing up or like something's lagging, you can always drop this down to quality or even performance, um, but mine is set to max quality. I would always start at the top. That's my suggestion. Start at the top, start with max quality, see how your computer performs while you're recording, see how everything is going. And if you're having problems, then slowly, you know, gradually drop it down a notch, drop it down another notch. And then from there, you can kind of tell um, where you should be at with your preset. Your profile, set that to high. Uncheck look ahead, uh, make sure psycho visual tuning is checked. GPU I have set to zero, max B frame set to two. Audio tab, this is where you would basically set up your audio devices, so your microphone. I have one um, device here because I'm using a Go XLR, and my Go XLR uh, basically takes my microphone, my game sounds, my system sounds, my chat, and my music, mixes it all down within the mixer itself here, um, and then puts out one audio signal, which is why you only see one here on mine. If you're not using a Go XLR, you want to set your desktop audio to default or whatever device you want to have, you know, your sound coming into your recording from, probably default, and then, you know, set up your microphone accordingly. Select whatever microphone you're using. Other than that, in this tab, nothing else we're going to go over here. In the video tab, though, this is where, let's say, okay, so you're gaming or, or doing whatever in 2K or 1080p, and you want to downscale it to 720 at 60 frames, this is where you would do that. Um, you would... Basically your base canvas resolution, make sure that's set to whatever your display is, whatever you're gaming at or whatever. So I'm playing games at 1080p, mine is set to 1920 by 1080. If I wanted to record in 720 at 60 frames, right here where it says output scaled resolution, you would click this drop down. I can't right now because we're recording, it won't let me click it. Um, and then you would select 1280 by 720. Downscale filter, set that to length so you don't want to really go any lower than that. You can see a difference. Uh, it basically just makes your video nice, crispy, and sharp. And then right here is where you would select your FPS. Um, if you're doing 60 FPS, you want to set it to 60. If you're trying to do 30, set it to 30. Most people are doing 60 nowadays, so you're probably going to leave that at 60. And then just a quick overview here, you have your hotkeys tab. This is basically, you can set key binds for functions within OBS. You can basically make OBS do anything uh, with the touch of a, a key on your keyboard. You'd basically, if so, if you wanted to, you know, hit your backslash key to start streaming, you can click right here, hit your backslash key, and that binds that key to that function within OBS. Basically setting up key binds for OBS. And in your advanced tab, you'd want to set your process priority to normal. Um, however, if you're having problems and you want to send a little bit more resources from your PC to OBS, you can set that to above normal or high or whatever, you know, you want to set that to. Other than that, none of this is relevant. Uh, you don't need to set a stream delay because we're just recording. Automatically reconnect, not really relevant because you're just recording. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you there. I hope that helped you guys a lot. I hope that helped you get the proper settings for recording within OBS. If you have any questions though, I know everyone has different specs and in different parts in their computers. Everyone's rig is a little bit different. So this video is a basic overview. This will not work 100% for everybody because everyone's machine is different. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, but when you do ask that question, please at least let me know uh, what your CPU is your RAM, and your graphics card um, so that I can, you know, answer your question to the best of my ability. If I don't have that information, it's kind of hard for me to answer some questions. But anyways, guys, if you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button that lets me know that you liked it. Consider subscribing to the channel and turning on those post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. All right, guys, that's all for me. I want you to keep those hammers up and I'll see you next time.